right. So, uh, last thing I did um, on Sunday was to get the bone in the cave. Still no clue where to use that thing. But at least I know a lot of what I have to do in the cave. So, there is that. Still don't know how to get past the cobra though. Got a sneaking suspicion it's got something to do with this guy, but who knows. Uh, well, the thing is, stuff is being shut down over here, so <laughs> I'm not done with uni by any means. But yeah, like all universities in the entire country are shutting down by Monday. So. They're all either already shut down or in the process of shutting down. Monday is like the deadline. So, yeah. Fun times. Anyways. What do I do with the random bone? Uh... Well, the thing is I still kind of have to study quite a bit, so instead of going to lectures I'll have to study all of that at home, which is still going to take a lot of time. I might be able to do longer streams I guess, but more streams probably not, because there's still lots to do. Like, I've got an exam next week? Still gotta study for that thing, because that's gonna happen. So, yeah. It's just a matter of no lectures, no classes, nothing like that. But exams are still allowed to take place. Nope, it's an in-person exam. But um, they have like specific guidelines they have to follow. Either way, uh, uni is kind of still happening, but more inconvenient for everyone involved. So it's gonna be interesting. Anyhow. Still haven't found a dog in this game. You'd think that a bone would usually be associated with a dog in games like these. Probably not the trees. But yeah, they can't really do online exams because people could cheat very easily. Not expecting those to be a thing anytime soon. But one thing they might do is just reschedule exams if it gets extra bad. But yeah, they're like cancelling events. Uh, I think they're like in restaurants and bars aren't allowed to have more than 100 people in them at any time. Stuff like that. Anyways. I'm sure you can give a hint. Still trying to, like, brainstorm what to do with the stuff I found out in this game. Thanks for follow. That guy just keeps on playing the same songs.
But yeah, like, this thing really stands out to me as, like, a use for that thing. So. Um... Sure, I can try that. So I've got the lantern, which I need. Got the gold ball, which I've already used, so that might be all that thing's used for. Small crown, already used that. Cupid's bow, I'm not sure if it has a use apart from the unicorn, and I hope I didn't waste my arrow by using it on the unicorn. Um, the shovel, haven't used that. Fishing pole, I have used that. I got the dead fish by using it with the worm. The book, I don't believe I've used that at all. And yeah, bone and dead fish. So, guess I'll just try and hand people stuff. Who wants a dead fish? So, um, people I've met would probably mainly be the two musicians at this point. Because the dwarves, uh, like that quest seems to be done now. And the fisherman and his wife, like, that also seems to be done. So it may just be the two musicians left. So... Um... Give... Fish? No. Where is he going? Um, why am I stuck? No, oh, there she is. Uh, give... Book? No. Give... Bone? No. Give... What else do I have? Um... Keep losing track of all the items I have. So, not the crown. What else haven't I used? No, that button. Shovel. Oh, the board, but I already know what the board is for and... I mean, that might be it actually. Just shovel, book, bone and dead fish. Yeah, basically, long story short, with the uni, I still have to do about the same amount of work, if not more. So, it's not like I'll just be sitting around doing nothing the entire time. I mean, to be honest, I haven't done much today yet, but... I still have lots to do. Uh, true, there aren't that many people in this game, and, well, in any of these games, true that, but I'm not familiar with Clara Bow games, so. Where was the guy? With the... Uh, well, it's not a guitar. I don't know what the proper word would be. Oh. Oh, fine. Fair enough. But I'm still not familiar with them anyways. <laughs> I basically only remember the names of games after I've played them. <laughs> like, 
like I am playing I am planning on playing some of the Leisure Suit Larry games and since I haven't played either, any of them it took me a while to remember that name so where was that guy did I miss him nope Wrong one. Yeah, I guess the... Well, these Sierra games don't seem to have a lot of people. But that doesn't mean all of them are going to be like that. Like, especially the Leisure Suit Larry games seem like they might have more people. We'll see. So. Uh, give book. You hand the Shakespeare book to the minstrel. Seriously, he opens it and begins to read it aloud, first hesitantly, then with increased forcefulness as he begins to get into it. Okay. Suddenly he stops and looks at you. This is wonderful. This gives me a new lease in life. No longer am I a mere minstrel, now become a famous actor. To be or not to be, how's that? He then gives you his loot, bids you farewell, and wanders off to stardom. Okay, got a loot now. Am I going to use that on the snake? I guess I might. So, where was that river? Doing all the speed walking. Uh, river. Yes, it was indeed just a, a tad random, but I'd say there's been worse puzzles. Okay. Anyways. Turning down the speed because otherwise this is not gonna work. And we're brown. Alright. So, saving because who knows how long it's going to take me to get through that cave again. Okay. Seems like the. I think it was a troll? Yeah, I think it was a troll. Either way, haven't been attacked yet, so. Light lantern. There. It's still not a very useful lantern, but you take what you can get. It gets worse than flashlights in horror movies. Nope. And I'm being eaten, basically. Yeah. I was trying to get her to safety, but it did not work. Light. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, light lantern. Okay. 
think it was down this way and then to the right. So, somewhere over here. Okay. There. Hopefully, I'll be able to survive this this time around. But I still don't know where the chasm is. It's either on this screen or the next. Yeah, it's on this one. Okay, so. I'll walk extra slow. Actually, overwrite this save. There's that. And... Nope. Nope. That was too close. <laughs> so... Oops. Down board there and nope. So nope. Put down board. Nope. Not sure where she's putting it this time round. Nope. Yes. Agreed. Padding out the runtime of a game like this is just very obnoxious. Put down board. Where is it though? Okay, great. Put down board. It's not there. I don't know where it is, but it's definitely not there. Nope. Put down board. Pretty sure it worked. All right. All right. Okay. So how about over here? Not close enough. Um, yeah, that, that's too close. <laughs> How about here? Nope. Uh, put down board. Okay. Nope. <sighs> Games like these are very silly at times. Them and their beanstalks. Put down board. Did it work? It might have worked. Pick up board. No. Nope, that did not work. So, put 
down board. Okay, apparently I'm stuck. Like, the graphics in this cave are very confusing. Like, it seems like there's grass or something. Because this texture right here, uh, the, this stuff, these black lines, they seem to be in the foreground, on the background. Which is why they're overlapping with her. Anyways, um, uh, did I have to restart? Um, well, I used an older save because, um, uh, I needed to get an item at the start of the cave and I missed that. And I also needed to get a different item to get past the cobra. And right now I'm trying to get back to the cobra to see if the loot that I've got is enough to tame it, distract it, whatever. Put down board. Nope. Nope. I'm trying to find the right spot to stand to put down the board. It would have to be somewhere, right? <laughs> Put down board. There. It would be so nice if I could just see it. Nope. Alright. I managed to do it last time. But yeah, <laughs> believe me, I'm not too stoked about having to redo this either. But otherwise I would have definitely had to do it backwards and that doesn't sound any easier to be honest. Backwards and then forwards again, obviously. So. Nope. Down board. No. Nope. Put down board. Nope. Okay. Can I put it down here? Probably not. Put down board. Okay, did I do it? I think I might have done it. Somehow. I don't know how, but I'll take it. So Saving. <laughs> and she's stuck at that part again. <laughs> Just crouch, you silly lady. <laughs> I'll just mash her head into the wall. Crouch. No. Uh. Crawl? No. Duck? No. <laughs> I 
Well, she is silly. She's just ramming her head into the wall. <laughs> Repeatedly. <laughs> Even though she really should know better by now. Like, this shouldn't be the difficult part of a puzzle game. Right? Like, the puzzle shouldn't be how do you not bash your head against the wall repeatedly. There. Alright, finally triggered that animation. I'm, I'm glad I managed to do that somewhat smoothly the first time round, because otherwise I would have been rather worried about not knowing the correct word to do it. But nope. I just need to run into the wall a couple of times before she figures out how to crouch. Or, well, crawl. It's more of a crawl. Anyways, saving out here because I don't want to have to do that part again. And jump. Uh, if I wear the crown now, uh, I basically immediately get eaten by the swamp monster. So, wear crown. Let's see. There. Yep. So, that happens. So, yes, yeah, so I wouldn't recommend getting eaten. So I try to avoid that whenever I can. But she's doing fine. Apparently these shoes are jumping shoes. Even though they look like they'd be the kind of shoes that would just fall off when you try and move and like anyway other than walking carefully <laughs> but maybe i just don't know how to wear those shoes okay so next jump is probably going to trigger the cobra there all right and put down board. Doing a save here. Actually, I might just overwrite the other one. There. And play loot. Stop doing anything to the cobra? Nope. Play loot. Guess not. Maybe I have to exchange the loot for the flute. Time to load this save, I think. All right. There. And then I get to do it all over again. Can't wait.
Not a huge fan of the cave part. <laughs> Just in case you guys haven't noticed yet. Yes, the cave part is definitely not my favorite. Can confirm. <laughs> It's fine. Hello, how are you doing? Maybe it's going to be easier the third time round. <laughs> yes, King's Quest 4. So, uh, play loop. I guess she's singing. Her mouth is flashing, so I guess that means she's singing. Anna ceases dancing, now looks at you and bloat curiously. Okay. Give loot. Okay, Pan gratefully accepts her gift of the loot, and in return gives you his flute. Happy now, he dances away with it. Um, <laughs> well, we'll see. I'll be trying to convince the Cobra to not kill me in a second. Well, or however long it takes me to get past the cave again. We'll see. And no, she's not questing to be king. She's questing to, uh, try and... Both, um, uh, save her father from what seems to be a heart attack by giving him a magic apple. Don't ask me why. It was her decision, kind of. Basically, a fairy manipulated her into doing this because the fairy lost her talisman. Well, it was stolen. And now I'm supposed to both find that thing and find the fruit to save her father and then hopefully the fairy is going to be nice enough to teleport me back we'll see but yeah basically the fairy manipulated her into ah uh, well Abandoning her father while he was basically dying to try and, well, get her to do her dirty work for her. It's a weird fairy. Still not sure how that fairy is supposedly the good fairy. So, I'll say there. I think they're both the evil fairy. I mean, they're stealing from each other, so... Both seem to be having some issues with moral behavior. All right, that's the cavern. So, put down board. Okay, nice. I guess I was just using it wrong. So, time to try and trigger that animation again and 
fail and mash her head into a wall. At least I got past the cavern part. Or chasm, whatever. I got past the using the board to try not to well, fall to her death. Jump. Not from here. Fine. What about from here? Not from here. There. Silly cobras only ever listening to flutes. So, put down board. And saving. Why not? And play flute. Of course. Nervously, you raise the flute to your mouth and begin to play a melodic tune to the big cobra who begins to sway with music. Soon the snake is mesmerized by it and falls into a hypnotic trance. Okay, so get fruit. And I'm dead. <laughs> Whoopsies. Um, yes, I am doing a blind playthrough. <laughs> but, like, I've already been to this part because of failing that part because I didn't have an instrument with me, so. Anyways, play loot. First, I didn't have an instrument with me, and they tried to read Shakespeare to it, which didn't work. And then I had the loot, which also didn't work. And now I've got the flute, and that worked. Believe me, I wouldn't, uh, try and... Wait. What? Whoopsies. I'd say I wouldn't be quite this slow if I had a play, a walkthrough open on the side. I don't. So, play, loot. But yeah, I'm not the kind of person who just looks up a walkthrough and uses that out of guide instead of playing the game. So, get fruit. There, now I actually got it. All right. Saving again, just in case. And I'm dead. <laughs> Board. No, there. And jump. But yes, I generally try my best to stay away from any major spoilers. Alright. This is going to be fun. <laughs> uh, where is that cavern again? What? Did the cavern somehow... What? 
What? I can just walk around it? Really? That's not fair. What happened to it? Oh, I was in a different room. Fine. Yeah. This room is the one with the chasm. Yep. There it is. Well, I mean... This does supposedly kind of play in the Middle Ages, so... You'd think they'd not survive until modern times. So. Put down board. Nice. I think I've made it to the other side. And do I have the board again? Yes, I do. Yeah, I'd say if the characters in this game lived forever, that would cause its own issues. Okay. Well. That didn't work out. Yep. It's the troll scripted now. Well, it's still killing me, so <laughs> that's inconvenient. Do I have to find another way around? Possibly. Okay, so... Where could I go? Not up here. There has to be some other area I can try and escape to. Because otherwise, how is this supposed to work? Nope. <sighs> that troll. I don't like that troll. Yes, it is.
Saving. Still don't agree with the decision to create this part of the game, but I mean, still a good game overall. But they just had to make it at least somewhat obnoxious. Alright, so I've got the fruit that I'm supposed to get, but how am I going to convince the unicorn to go to the evil, evil fairy? Uh... What version, like, of this specific game? Whichever one's on Steam. <laughs> but it's using DOS Fox, if that helps. <laughs> All right, so what am I going to do with the unicorn? I've got the magic fruit. Um, can I use the flute on the unicorn? I guess that's a nope. Yeah, doesn't seem like it. So, saving again. What if I give the magic fruit to the unicorn? No, okay. I was expecting that to either uh, be so wrong I can't even try and do that, or to be a soft lock, or anything like that. Anyways, seems like I can't even try. Can't say I mind though. Can I dig here? No. Um, uh, sure, I could probably use a hint, because I'm out of ideas. I've been trying to get that unicorn to move in a direction that would be more convenient than just standing here. But it's not been working so well. <laughs> I hope I don't have to replay everything. But at this point, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, it's Sierra. Hmm. Not sure what that would be. Hmm. 
like, I tried so many things and they didn't work. So... Not sure if that raven is relevant at all. Yes, I have tried that. And she got tired. <laughs> Haven't tried dying by swimming in the ocean. But I've got a save, so why not? Well, there's that. Sure, I'll try and swim from somewhere else. And I don't think that actually does anything, but I mean, try at your own risk, I guess. Okay, that's an island. What's this place? Okay. Whose place is this? Just a tiny fairies guard the palace door. Her tiny fairies. I thought she was a fairy. Are those her kids? Are her kids on guard duty? I don't trust her. Okay, so... Open door. More tiny fairies, because why not? Door is locked. Locked. And what about the stairs? Okay. Are they following me, or does she just have hundreds of them? There's the dog. Nesta's tiny fairy helpers flit around furiously, trying to keep you from disturbing the dying fairy. Uh, okay, great. Can I talk to her? As you attempt to speak to the gravy, gravely ill Janesta, her small fairy helpers flutter madly about trying to prevent you from disturbing her. All right. It's not like I'm trying to save her or anything. Um, so open cabinet. No, open drawer. Open door. There. Not give phone. 
No, talking to the dog. Yeah, bone to dog. No, guess not. Guess I'll just look around. So, just as bedchamber is very beautiful and serene, she lies still upon the seashell bed, her concerned fairy helpers hovering near, and her pet snow leopard. Oh, it's a snow leopard, not a dog, lying close by. But are snow leopards an endangered species? I mean, if they're like a separate species at all, I'm not sure. Not sure if they're, they just happen to be leopards that are albino or something. Um, give bone to pet. No. How do you, yes, okay. Wasn't sure how you spell leopard in English, so. All right, well, either way, doesn't sound like an appropriate pet to have, but. Anyways, um, give them to leopard. No, I guess not. So what would a snow leopard want? How about a dead fish? Give fish to that bird. No. Anything else I have? Not really. <laughs> so. How could I lure a unicorn? <laughs> I still don't know. You're on a tower stairway of the Isles Ivory Palace. It's a beautiful stairway. Nope. Seems like they're both still blocked. This is the entry hall of the Enchanted Ivory Palace. Two of the doors are closed and presumably off limits to uninvited visitors. The left doorway, however, is open. Okay. So, what do unicorns want? You are standing in the lovely garden of this enchanted island. Beside you rises a grand ivory palace. Within this garden, a bridge um, emblazoned, I guess, with the figurines of swans arches over a little pond. A beautiful white swan floats serenely upon it. Not sure if the swan approves of the swan sculptures. What's that? You see the beach of a beautiful enchanted island behind you, an ivory palace rises majestically. A luxuriant garden circles the magnificent palace. Look at ground. Oh, it's a peacock feather. Okay. Get feather. Okay. Don't see anything out of place here. Not sure I can interact with the peacock. You're roaming through the wondrous island garden. Towering beside you is an enchanted ivory palace. You don't say. You see an interesting statue within this part of the garden. Look 
at statue. Depicted in the statue, a pair of dolphins leap gracefully, gracefully from a wave. All right then. Can't say I uh would want her as my decorator. <laughs> Her style seems rather extreme. Good point. Very good point. And um, no, don't restore. Save. What if I just jump in the pond? Guess I can't. Okay. Look at swan. Beautiful white swan floats gracefully upon the little pond. Wait. Back to the boat? What boat? I don't remember there being a boat. But yeah, I'd say there's a good chance I'm just completely clueless. No. No, I have not been eaten by a whale. At least, not recently. Don't make a habit of getting eaten by whales. Can I sit down? No. It's kind of silly what she does and doesn't have time for. You see sparkling sand beach of an exotic island. Before you, in the center of the island, a wonderful ivory palace rises. Lovely gardens around the palace. Okay. Uh, well, as I said, not sure what to do next. Got a feather. How many peacocks are there? It's starting to feel like there's like 50 of them. And they all seem to be males, so... Aren't they territorial at all? Because I'm pretty sure they would be. I'll just go this way and see what happens. I'll probably get eaten by a shark. Okay, getting tired, and I did not survive, as usual. So, 
So, what if I swim this way? Nope. Nope. Okay. So, not supposed to do that. Maybe I can talk to the fairies. We speak to the little fairies, but they do not respond. Perhaps they cannot talk. Okay. I don't trust the good fairy. Because, <laughs> I mean, she has a bunch of tiny fairies that can't talk. That just seems very sketchy. <laughs> I don't think I've missed anything particular on the island. At least it doesn't seem like I did. Can I talk to the parrots? No. Polly want a cracker. Well, of course. But yeah, I'd say the reflection of the bridge and the pond is kind of fancy. But it doesn't look three-dimensional, so... <laughs> it's a bit weird, but they're making progress. It's fine. Well, sounds like I need a hint then. <laughs> I wouldn't know what the game does or doesn't want me to do. Like, I don't think I got even one new item here. I already had the flute, already had the lantern, the gold ball. Oh, the peacock feather. That's the one thing I got. Good point. Okay, well. Great, thanks for that, Peacock. Okay. Nope. Swimming on this screen is kind of fun, because you see that the palace is apparently just enormous. Like, which tower is the room in that I walked into? So many towers. Okay. Yay! Swimming back and forth. <laughs> and I got eaten.
I think it's somehow teleporting me between two screens, even though I shouldn't be crossing the border of the screen, but whatever. Well, I guess we'll see if I somehow end up in Leisure Suit Larry during this game. I kind of hope not, but who knows. This seems pretty uneventful. Apart from getting eaten by a shark. Okay, I got eaten. That's great. Uh, because there's apparently something that's supposed to happen. I don't know what that is, but... Uh, you can look up what kind of keyboard I have. It's on my channel page. <laughs> Not sure if it counts as a mechanical keyboard. But I guess it might count. So. Not quite sure, like, where the cutoff point for what counts as a mechanical keyboard is. Because, like, if I remember correctly, this one works with, like, lasers somehow. <laughs> so. Or maybe it was the other one. I don't know much about keyboards. But both the keyboards I use for streaming make lovely clicking sounds. But yeah, I know it's kind of loud, but that's what you get. <laughs> but I do kind of like using them, so. Seems very weird to have a, re like, hover in place while having an animation that's th this intense. She seems like she's, like, a professional swimmer or something. <laughs> At the very least. I mean, that speed is not physically possible. Getting tired again, so swimming back. Yep, <laughs> probably too much caffeine. Uh, I don't know. I think the only show I've watched on Amazon Prime would be Good Omens. Like, show that I know is on Amazon Prime. I'm pretty sure I've watched other shows that are on there. Like, I think Doctor Who might still be on there. Doctor Who's a good show. <laughs> but... 
I guess it might be an acquired taste. I mean, lots of the shows I like are weird, at least to some extent. I mean, if you want stuff that's not weird, you could just go for documentaries of historical events or something. Okay, well, fine, I'll go visit the evil witch then. All right. I never really noticed much about, like, the direction of that show being weird. But I definitely approved of, like, the intro sequence thing. I thought the art style and music that was fun. Haven't seen it. So, I wouldn't know. But I'm generally the kind of person who usually hasn't seen or heard of the thing that other people are talking about. So. <laughs> Me not knowing something means next to nothing. Uh... No, I haven't read the books yet, but, well, I am planning on reading the books that the show is based on, and possibly some others, don't know yet. Didn't the guy also have comics? I'm not sure. But yeah, like, I was planning on getting it as an ebook. Not sure if I've done that yet. But I'm not really having a lot of opportunity to read for long periods of time. So. Uh, I've never read comics. <laughs> But that doesn't mean I won't read comics. Like, I now have some comics as, uh, like, PDFs and such, so. I now have comics, just not physical copies of those comics. So, who knows, maybe I'll start reading them. <laughs> Uh, some of the Doctor Who comics. Basically, there was a Doctor Who Humble Bundle with, as in, like, the website Humble Bundle. Um, with, I think, audiobooks and comics specifically. So, yeah. And audiobooks are rather nice when, well, you don't have time to read, but, like, you've got a commute or something to use to listen to a book. So, yeah.
Well, I try and do as much walking as I can. Uh, it's kind of difficult to read while walking, especially if you don't want to get hit by a car. So, my reading time is a bit limited when it comes to that. And generally my commute doesn't really lend itself to reading. I don't know much about Castlevania. <laughs> Definitely not an expert on that by any means. But I know that the series exists, so that's more than I can say about most game series. <laughs> And I know the, the general gist of it, I guess. I haven't seen the show though. Okay, so I've seen the evil witch. Nothing else seems to have changed. From what I could tell by wandering around aimlessly, as I do. So yeah. I'll just save and then try and see what happens. Who knows, I might play Castlevania someday. <laughs> I haven't played many platformers in general. But, as I said, who knows. There, faster swing. Because I'm impatient. Um, well, like some of the Mario games, I'd say, would count as platformers. The like non three D ones, but I could be wrong. And other than that, I can't remember any specific names. At least not right now. Like, would Sonic games count? Wait, what? That was a different sound, but I think there was something going on, but I missed it. Yep. Well, it's a very inconvenient whale if it just appears whenever it wants to and doesn't really like try that hard to eat me if it's supposed to eat me. Yeah. Anyways, haven't played many platformers, but I wouldn't say I'm completely oblivious to the genre and well hello there <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. Horrors, you've been swallowed by a huge whale. Ew, this place stinks. Pretty sure that's not how whales work, but sure. So, look around. Yes. Um, look at ground. Nothing of importance. Is that a message in a bottle? No. What is that? Am I pushing it around? I'm confused. What? 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 What's going on here? I'm rather concerned about what's going on. <laughs> Hello. I'll like try and see if I can fix this. Okay, there. Get bottle. Okay. Got it. No, it wasn't my keyboard. I think the game just froze or something. So, um, look at boats. Nope, boats. There's nothing in the old boat. Didn't help James, and it won't help you. Look at James. <laughs> the skeleton of an unlucky man, let's call him James, rests atop the wreckage of a small boat. Okay. Great. Um, what's this? Look at wheel? No. Not sure what else I'd call that thing. Um, I'm not sure how they expect me to find it, but just generally with games like these, they are. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Like, it frequently seems like they just want people to call the hint line. Or at least to know someone who has called the hint line. Or get, like, a hint book. So, yeah. I guess that was just the old version of microtransactions in a game. <laughs> Getting people to have to call the hint line because they were stuck. Either way. Uh, how am I going to get out of a whale? I mean, I could try and open the glass bottle. You open the glass bottle and retrieve the imprisoned note. Read note. Help me, I'm lost at sea in King's Quest 3. I'm with a bunch of nasty pirates who want to feed me to the sharks. If you can, come quick. Great. Thanks, game. Thanks. So... Still got the glass bottle, so maybe that's going to be relevant. 
Ah. Pretty sure I'm supposed to use the feather. But she's not that great at climbing. So... Uh... Tickle whale? Not here. Yeah. Exactly. As I said, not that great at climbing. Not sure how I could help her climb. Okay, well, I guess I died. Of course, why not? Great, I forgot to save. So. Yes, I'll make sure to get swallowed by a whale again, but then be more careful while being inside the whale's mouth. Makes sense. It's like I'm looking for a whale in an ocean, but the whale doesn't feel like showing up. There it is! Finally. Been waiting for you, whale. Oh really? I totally didn't notice I was swallowed by a whale. Well, not actually swallowed. No, bottle. There. Open. Bottle. Read. Note. There. And saving. Okay. So, I'm not sure how I'd start a fire in this place. Seems like the wood would be rather soggy by now. Doesn't matter if you're talking about the board or the boat or this thing. So, might have some issues starting a fire. I'm not drinking booze, I'm drinking water. Because <laughs> I don't drink alcohol at all. So. Well, the usual ways are either starting a fire or tickling the whale's tonsils. Because, obviously. <laughs> yes, the usual ways. So. Um. Jump? No. Climb. Go ahead, try it. Okay. Okay. 
Jump. No. Guess not. Uh, use fishing. Pole. No. Use fishing. Pole. There. Uh, fish. No. Guess no fishing inside a whale. Dig. Not here. No. What about like here? Apparently not. Fine. Um. So. Take all whale. Not here. What about over here? Nope. Well, the bottle isn't broken yet. I'd need to find a way to break it first. How am I supposed to get up there? Nope. <sighs> she needs to get better at climbing. So. And update. Okay. Nope. Is this another beanstalk? Nope. Uh huh. Agreed. This is quite horrible so far. Like, if this is actually what I'm supposed to be doing, then. Uh-huh. Yes. Yes, indeed. Nope. Such a silly whale. Pretty sure I can't reach it, so... I've been trying to tickle a whale to get it to spit me back out again, but it's not been working. Nope. 
Sure, I'll start climbing in other places. Nope, not there. She needs to get better at climbing whale tongues. Because that's a normal sentence. Nope. Nope. Thanks and fire. And I'm dead. So, what about the other side? Nope. Turning down the speed. Nope. So, nope. Yeah, well, this is not going as planned or anywhere close to as planned. Nope. I mean, the question is where am I trying to go? Okay, that makes no sense. What? <laughs> All right then. Sierra, why do you do this to people? This is just silly. Okay, jump. No. Nope, just falling down again. <sighs> Thanks for follow. the other side. <laughs> okay. Great. Now what? Nope. No, okay. Well, how am I supposed to get anywhere from there?
Yes, yes it does. Because apparently this game needed more than one beanstalk. Alright, so... Great. Still just getting that description. Um, look around. No. Look at teeth. The whale's throat and mouth are enormous. Huge teeth, a great tongue, and yes, even um, a large uvula. What's that, you say? Well, Suffice it to say, it looks like a big punching bag and hangs down from the top of the throat. See, you learn something new every day. Okay. So... What am I going to do with that giant punching bag? <laughs> um... So... I'm pretty sure he can't reach it from here. Well, that's not it. Turning down the speed. Jump. No. Take all. Whale. No. Ah. Uh, take all. Give you a. No. Look at. Give you a. Macedonian. That's one I haven't heard yet. <laughs> uh, well, you can try and guess where my accent's from. It's not Macedonia. <laughs> but I've heard lots of different guesses and, well, it's entertaining to me at least. Thanks for follow. But yeah, uh, Good luck guessing. So, jump. No. And I fell. Am I drowning? Yes, I'm drowning. Lovely. So, now what? Um, fine, I'll try. Not close enough. So, guess I'm not going to be doing that. Um, okay. I jump from here. Um. Nope. <laughs> ah, there. Roof of the mouth. Fine. Gradually tickle the throat of the whale with a big peacock feather. You begin to feel a quiver under your feet, which quickly turns into a mighty tremble. Suddenly, suddenly you hear a thunderous achoo. Of course, a whale would make that sound. You're swept out of the whale's mouth in a tremendous wave of ocean water. Great. Again, you find yourself swimming in the ocean. Oh. Well, Overriding that save. 
and we'll see if I manage to get anywhere. I probably should have swam, no, swum, swum towards the island. Yes. Okay. Island time. Great. So, um, look around. You found yourself stranded upon a deserted island. Also, it seems, um, have found, ha have others before you. Well, true that. Now, what are you going to do, Rizal? Yeah, it seems like this island has seen one or two shipwrecks. So, I'll just assume it's a, it's a treasure island or something, so dig. Not here. Fine. How about right there? No. It looks as many unlucky sailors have been stranded here. You see a glint coming from one of the wrecked boats on the beach. Okay. I'm pretty sure I didn't leave James behind, but he'd probably not have fit in our inventory. But odds are he was also spat out by the whale, so there's that. Um, look at boat. Look at flint. No. Search boat. Hmm. Guess not. Wait. Is it that boat over there? I guess not. Search boat. Nope. It just looked like that was supposed to be a glint. But yeah, like... I don't know what they're referencing. Can't really see anything glinting. How about digging here? No. Here. Nope. Nope. That's not. So, how about just search? Nope. So, what am I doing here? Look at trees. Only one? I, I see two. Lonely palm tree grows here. Pretty sure I can, I, I can count to two. That looks like two palm trees. Or is that just me? Because, like, looks pretty convincingly like it's two trees. But according to the game, that's one tree. Do I just not know how to count palm trees? Yeah, I guess, but... Maybe it just looks like it's two. <laughs> I'm streaming from this room right here. <laughs> if you're asking because of my accent, as I said, like, if you want, you can try and guess. But 
But as you can read in my the channel info area, I've never like lived in an English speaking country. Been on vacation there, but that's it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to give you my street address. Well, if it's a bunker, then I've got pretty convincing lights right that way. So, Pelican visits you on this desert island. Well, desert island? I guess desert island? But deserted would also kind of fit. So, why is a pelican visiting me? And where is it coming from? I don't have anything the pelican might want, apart from a fish, I guess. I guess pelicans eat fish. Hmm. Well, actually, what about that bone? <laughs> I still don't know what to do with that thing. Okay, you throw the sticky dead fish to the pelican. Really, he catches it in his large bill. As he does so, you notice something shiny fall, fall down onto the ground. But they said there was a glint near one of the ships? And the glint was somehow inside the pelican's beak? I'm confused. A shiny whistle, okay. Get whistle. Okay. Now what? All right. But yeah, as I said, if this is a bunker, I have very, very convincing lights. Oh, sorry for that. Very convincing lights over there. And I should probably find a better way to arrange those if I did. Well. But yes, sorry for that sound. My guess is that that was rather loud. I don't actually hear my own mic output, so I wouldn't know. So... I don't see anything else glinting on the beach. Going from inside the boat. Look down. What's this? It's a golden riddle. You pick it up and carry it with you. Okay. And I can't display inventory right now. Why not? Why? Why, game? Why? It's just not fair. Yeah, I think that's the thing you use for a horse, right? <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Still not a horse person. 
And I got eaten by a shark. Now I'm just trying to figure out if there's a way back or if I'll just get eaten no matter what. Which is possible. Okay. Well, I don't know what I'd use to get away from here. Or... Use... Whistle. Click. Whistle. You put the shiny silver whistle to your lips and forcefully you blow into it, producing a loud Tweet! To your astonish astonishment, a friendly dolphin appears just offshore and jabs excite excitedly at you. Well, hello, friendly dolphin. Uh. Hold. Dolphin? No. Uh. Fried dolphin. That worked. No, I am not Romanian. I'm not sure I've ever been to Romania. I don't think so. At least, not that I remember. All right. Well, it's nice of the dolphin to know which way to go. No, I'm not Polish either. And, uh, like, good for him? I don't think I've heard of him. <laughs> sure. I mean, if that was the case, I'd probably be pretty pale, right? And I'd be drinking blood secretly out of a well, bottle you can't see into. So, um, there, put red doll on unicorn, how about now? As the beautiful unicorn offers no resistance, you gently place the golden bit into its mouth and fit the brittle and reins over its majestic head. The unicorn looks at you with curiosity. Fine. You nimbly mount the, the magnificent unicorn, grab the golden reins, and set off towards Lot's castle. No, I'm not Lithuanian.
The unicorn... I don't know what the game was telling me. Turning down the speed to hopefully be able to read along. And no. So, I hear you were a good girl and brought the unicorn. I'm almost convinced you might be innocent after all, but not quite. Okay. Uh oh. This doesn't sound good. Yes. I am. Des desirous? Whatever. Of the hen that lays the golden eggs. Currently, the hen is kept uh, by the ogre. Okay. Bring me the hen and you shall have your freedom. Take her away. Okay. Great. Yes. The country is in the EU. But yeah, I mean, who knows? Maybe I'm secretly a vampire. People do tell me I'm rather pale, so... He oversees you. You'd better run as she'd like to have you for dinner. Great. And there's the ogre. Okay. How am I going to get their hen? <laughs> Wouldn't the hen be outside? But apparently she's not, so... <sighs> Whatever. I'll just save, I guess. It's getting late. It will be dark soon. Okay. I mean, there's a limited number of countries in the EU. <laughs> so... It's a hen that lays golden eggs, and, like, it's not like I've been keeping the country I'm in completely secret. So, considering, like, guessing where my accent is from is kind of a, a common thing on my channel, you'd think I don't just not tell people. Okay. Watch out, a very unfriendly bulldog rushes towards you. Throw bone. Quickly you toss the bone to the big dog who catches it midair. Happy with a surprise gift. He takes it and lays down. Whatever. So Oh, I'm not saying that, that you've specifically been on my channel long enough to know, but there are people in chat who already know which country I'm from, because, as I said, it's 
not a rare thing on my channel. And, uh, I think it was 88? I looked it up at some point. But, yeah. I think it might have been 88. Could have also been 90s. I don't know. Pretty sure Google knows. Okay. Use lantern. I guess not. You found yourself inside the ogre's small closet. Or closet, it's surprisingly empty. You notice a large keyhole under the doorknob for the closet door. Well, of the closet door. Okay. You hear the ogre in the house. Look through keyhole. Oh. Look through keyhole. Hero Wars, fee fi fo fum I smell the blood of a... Quiet, you old goat. That's just deer you smell. You know how you get hu how you get when you're hungry. Here, eat. Okay. Great. Lovely. Bring me my hen. Sure. That seems like a normal conversation. Lay, orders the ogre. With excitement, you watch the hen lay a golden egg, which the ogre takes. He yawns, then falls asleep on the table. Soon as snoring rattles the walls. This is a weird family. <laughs> Open the door. Okay. See the ogre sleeping at the table. You'd better be real quiet. Okay. Saving, because odds are I'll die at least once here. Get ten. There. And open the door. Squawk, squawk. Okay, great. Time to try and run. Nope. Somehow he teleported. That's not fair. Okay. Not sure if I managed to lose him. Might have. At least I hope I did. Okay, not that way. So, I do have the magic hen, and I'll save one more time, because, well, <laughs> walking up that cliff isn't the safest part of this game. Okay. 
I'll get kidnapped again. As usual. What a good girl you are. I really ought to give you a reward right now. Okay. She pauses, and you wonder what she's up to. But I have just the tiniest bit of doubt left. Really now? Great. If you do just one more thing for me, I'll be completely convinced of your innocence, and you'll receive a wonderful reward. Somehow you don't quite believe her. I want to have Pandora's box. It is said that whoever owns it would be in possession of the purest evil. Her eyes gloom as she exclaims, With the power and evil of Pandora's box, I would be unstoppable. Your terror returns as you realize what an evil being Lot really is. I wonder if you should be helping her in this way, but what can you do right what can you do about it? Nothing right now. I don't know the whereabouts of Pandora's box. You must search for it yourself. Great. Again, she orders her henchman to take her away. Well, isn't this great? Now I'm searching for Pandora's box. Like that's gonna work out. So, I've kind of already talked to everyone on this island. And I can't talk to the fairies and I can't talk to the good fairy. So, doesn't look like much has changed around here. So how am I supposed to find Pandora's box? Pretty sure I might have to use the shovel for it. So, like, probably digging it up. I just think I'll have to use the shovel because I haven't used it yet. And considering how I found the shovel, it seems like an item that would be like essential to part of the quest. Yeah, I think it was 88, but I'm not sure. As in the game being released. Anyways. So, I've used the silver flute, I've used the lantern, I've used the gold ball, I've used the peacock feather, I've used the small crown, the bow, fishing pole, the board, I know what to use the fruit for. Um, I've used the whistle, I haven't used the bottle or the shovel. I'm not sure if the note is going to be relevant, because it just seems like 
it's a reference to King's Quest 3. I mean, it's pretty compared to the other games, I guess. But I guess this just isn't my art style. <laughs> I'd say I prefer more realistic graphics, but that might just be because those are popular right now. I am rather impressed by some of the animations. Because they did get a lot better between the games. Like a heavy blanket, darkness enfolds you. Oh, great. Okay, great. So... Now what? Guess it's night time now. Well, I mean, I'll be doing King's Quest V at some point. Next game is probably going to be Leisure Suit Larry 1, though. And then possibly Space Quest, and then King's Quest again. Something like that. I don't go by, like, a very fixed schedule or anything when it comes to this. I'm just trying to like, somewhat stick to the release dates to some extent. And of course I'm trying to play them in order, so not play King's Quest V before King's Quest One. Yeah, like, the area doesn't seem that different. Maybe the trees are going to be different. As in the, like, evil trees. I think I prefer the originals, to be honest. Because it's not so much about, like, playing a remake of an old game, but, like, I, I want to experience old games, not remakes of them. Like for some of Monkey Island, I played the remake, but... Uh, okay then. To wander forever. To wander forever is now your fate. Okay, great. Great. That's totally what I wanted. Agreed. Would not recommend that hug. That was... Well... So poor, to say the least.
Okay. Open door. Nothing seems to have changed in here. So I'll see if the organ still does absolutely nothing. Um, uh, haven't played that series. Is it similar to this game? Or is it like a similar, like, era but different style? Or like, different gameplay? And I've died. Because, of course. Stairs are tricky. Especially when, like, sometimes I can just fall off the stairs in these games. With a combat system. Well, <laughs> I've not been that lucky with combat systems in these games. <laughs> Wait, where is she? Okay, I guess she's behind the trees somewhere. No clue where though. She might just be stuck. Okay, there. All right. So, time to go up the stairs and hopefully not fall down again. I mean, I might play that series at some point, but right now I'm playing a bit of a different style and combat systems as I said like the games I've played so far that had combat systems let's just say they were not my favorite part of the game Okay, so, how can I get up these stairs? I've managed it more than once already. There, okay. Finally walking up the stairs. <laughs> it's rather tricky at times. All right, so sit, fine, there, sit, hello, how are you doing? And no, I haven't played Beneath a Steel Sky, but I am familiar with that name because I've heard it more than once. <laughs> so. Um, play.
Yes. Great. So, still doesn't do anything. Get up. What if I just wait in here until the sun sets and then play it again? I mean, I'd probably die as soon as I leave the building, but... Well... Not sure how long it's going to take there. Well, I mean, maybe it's going to be available again at some point. Or maybe it can somehow track down an old copy and somehow play it. Um, I'm trying to wait till sunset and then play the organ. Because it seems like it should do something. I just have no clue what. So, yeah. I'm trying to find Pandora's box and have no clue where it could be. So. Yeah. That's why I'm going for rather silly ideas because like the organ hasn't really done anything yet and oh yes i already handed it in and now i'm supposed to look for pandora's box no i am not dutch But yeah, um, basically I handed the hen in, it got dark, and, um, like, I tried to walk into this castle, house, mansion thing, and got bitten by either a vampire or a zombie. I'm not sure which one it was. They didn't really specify. But, yeah. Couldn't walk through the door anymore, so. Figured I'd try and see what happens if I play the organ in the dark. But I couldn't walk through the door after the sun had set, so. Yeah. Odds are they'll still kill me as soon as I walk out the door. I might just have to reload. But either way, it seemed like it was worth a try. I don't know why, but... No, I'm not from Estonia. But, yeah. Exactly. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, so just trying stuff out, which in this case means waiting for a while. But it's fine. That way I get to just sit around and brainstorm and not look at my inventory because... Yes, I could write my country on my page somewhere. It's not really the point. If I just wrote it there, people would go, oh, okay then. But yeah, I think it's at least mildly entertaining to have people guess where I'm from. Because I get comments about my accent being weird all the time. No, I do not live in Canada. 
What I do have on my page is that I've never lived in an English-speaking country. And while Canada is, like, partially French-speaking, I'd still say they at least count as an English-speaking country overall. Just English and French. But yeah, as I said, get comments about my accent a lot. So, yeah. But I mean, I'm not forcing anyone to guess. Uh, <laughs> Brooklyn, really now. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not sure if it would count as either one, so I guess that's your hint. Uh, I'm still trying to wait for the sun to set, but yeah, not sure if that's working out. No, I'm not from Poland, but yeah. Um, it might have set already. I kept getting the messages about, like, well, the game notifications about how it's getting dark, but not sure if I'll actually get the, like, the sun has set now again. But if you want to give me a hint, sure. <laughs> Would probably save me some time. I'll try and play the organ again, just in case the sun has set. No, I cannot show my inventory while I'm up here. I don't know why, but... Well. I'll see if I can show it on the stairs. Yes, I can. So, I've got... The flute, which I've already used. The lantern, which I've already used. Gold ball, already used that. Peacock feather, also used that. Um, small crown, used that. Cupid's bow, already used it. Fishing pole, board, whistle, magic hen, already used all of those. Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> for some reason, Wait. New Orleans? Or New Orleans. I think that's the way you pronounce it. Not from there. Um, I missed an item there. Darn it. Okay. Well. Whee! There. And I don't know anything about voodoo. At least apart from the stuff you see in, like, well, movies and stuff. Which probably isn't a good representation of it. Because I'm pretty sure some people are into that sort of thing. So, yeah. All right, well, apparently I'm part of the stew now. So, um, apparently she's still 
cooking. So get in and look. This isn't the most cozy looking living room you've ever seen. In fact, the ogre's house looks almost frightening. Almost. Smell something horrible cooking on, cooking on the stove in the ogre's kitchen. As a matter of fact, you get the feeling that this is not a safe place to be. And I've been found. And she can teleport. Of course. Why wouldn't she be able to teleport? So, get him. There's that. Yes, uh, I'm not from New Zealand. <laughs> You've entered the ogre's upstairs bedroom, where a huge bed dominates the place. On the left wall you notice a closed door. Against the right wall leans the ogre's axe. Okay. So... Get... Axe. Alright. That worked. And open... Drawer. No, it's private. Okay. Look at dresser. It must hold the ogres and ogresses. Ogress? Whatever. The male and female ogres clothes. So Open the door. And trying to make sure he doesn't get me. Okay. Seems like he's not following me. Well, and I could be wrong. So, what am I supposed to do with an axe? No, I'm not from England. <laughs> not sure how I'd be, like, from there without ever living there at all. I guess my parents could be from there. But, no. No, not Latvia. So, um... Guess I'll hand in the hen? Nope, still not Macedonia. I'm not sure my favourite dish is going to be huge help. <laughs> and I should have saved. Whoopsies. Well. Ah. Uh, there's red on the flag.
because that's a super rare color to have on a flag. I mean, who said it's just red? Is there any country that just has a red flag? Thanks for the follow. Because, I mean, then we'd just be red on red. Which I don't think would, like, work that well. Because just having one colour as your flag, or several different shades of the same colour, just seems very inconvenient. True. But I figured naming all the colours on the flag might be too easy. I mean, it is still a guessing game, not just a, like, can you name a country based on the colors in their flag game, but... Uh... So, where am I going to use that axe? And also, have I still forgot to save? Yes, I have. I'm kind of tempted to try and chop down the big trees. Up uh, two colors. So that's a very silly flag. <laughs> Just one color. But I guess he does. He liked the color green or something. Because if someone decided to make their country's flag all one color. It's a bit weird, but you'd at least hope that that person likes that color. Well, depends on who you ask. Anyways, what tree should I cut down? But yes, like, uh, no. Not the Czech Republic. Can I cut down one of the trees? Well, one of the evil trees. Uh, use axe. The tree trembles at your might. And the trees tremble at your might and are frightened by your axe. They will not bother you any further. Yay! Okay. So 
so. That's new. No, I am not from Germany. Okay. Ouch. Wait. Did I get burnt or something? And no, neither one. Why does the inside of this cave still look like a skull? It's a bit weird. So, this is a dismal and dreary cave. In the center of the cave, over a hot fire, boils a foul-smelling brew inside a large black cauldron. Okay. Look at shelf. I see bottles and jars of disgusting looking stuff. None of it interests you though. Okay. Um, look at skull. You shiver at the sight of a human skull on the shelf. Okay. Great. Um, look at pot. A greenish foul brew boils ominously within the cauldron. That's great. Ah. Uh, is there anything I'm supposed to do in here? I haven't used the axe yet. Okay, that's that direction. And I can't walk that way. Can't walk between the trees there. Okay, so it seems like this place is the only thing hidden behind the trees. Okay, bearing a slight resemblance to a skull. Slight resemblance, yeah. Just a teeny tiny resemblance. Jets out from the craggy mountainside. Huge rocks block your exit to the north. And you're completely surrounded by those grabby trees. Nice situation, huh? Yep. Great situation. Um. Apparently I'm slowly burning myself by standing there. And use bottle on pot. Fill bottle. No. Put bottle in pot. No. Not from Croatia. Um. Let's see. I haven't used the bottle yet. I haven't used the shovel yet. But I'm not sure how I would use either one here. Especially since I can't seem to use the bottle on the pot. So. I don't think I have anything to put in the pot. At least I wouldn't know what. Um. So, put brew in bottle. No. Um. What else could I do? Not sure. Wait, I don't think I've handed in the hen yet. Yeah. Maybe I should do that first. And it's dark already.
Okay, there. Getting kidnapped, as you do. So, yes, yes, I'm supposed to find Pandora's box. Great, thanks. Okay, so where was that forest? Whoopsies. Okay, um, I think it was to the Of course there's a zombie. Why wouldn't there be? So I guess the other one was a vampire? But how should I know? Save before staying in there. I don't trust them. You knew you needed a hot bath, but not this hot. Yep, all right then dead because of course wait did I just see something in the window Wow, okay. I can see her through the house. <sighs> ah, quality game, programming, design, whatever. Either way, why can't I see her through a house? <laughs> it's a bit weird. Yeah, uh, pretty much no clue how to find Pandora's box, so yeah, that's gonna take a while, probably. So, we've made lots of progress this stream, but that's it for today. I'll be streaming again on uh, Saturday and Sunday, hopefully. Unless something happens, but if that's the case, you'll know about it if you're following my Twitter. And yeah, either way, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys this weekend. Bye!